Alright, when it comes to Aura, I think that Gambit is simply unmatched. This character is so cool, right? Like, he has just the coolest look, he has the coolest style, everything about this character is just awesome. And I feel like Gambit, as a character, is just severely underrated, especially when it comes to overall kit and gameplay. So yeah, I'm gonna use a 1-2 to two generic gem on this champion because I believe that this character is honestly just very very good overall. So yeah, uh, here's the rank 2, here's the ISO, the level up, uh, we gotta get him all the way to level 35. As per usual, there's actually some people that like keep their characters at level 34. Absolute psychos, but we'll just brush past that. But here's the level 35, and yeah, rank 2 Gambit. I've honestly been wanting this for a very long time. Um, yeah, because he's just one of my favorite characters to be honest. And when I did 8.4, I wanted a mutant gem, uh, a 2 to 3 gem, to take this guy to rank 3 because you know, I think that at rank 3 he's just gonna be a monstrous nuke, right? And even at rank 2, this man is absolutely crushing it. This is a rank 3 maestro, by the way. Like, a rank 3. I am punching up in this fight, and it is actually unreal how good he does it. So, of course, with Gambit, there is some... There, there are some, like, downsides to the character. He's pretty crit-reliant, but before the Gambit Relic, that was a massive problem. Now it's just a slight problem, because if you have a 6-star Gambit Relic, he is critting a ton, and that's just, like, a fact of life, right? So, um, yeah, we're gonna go in here, just build up my charges, get to my SP2, and check this out. Uh, it's gonna be pretty wild. So there is a nice 200,000-plus crit, and that's a rank 3 Maestro in about 36 seconds that's insane right like that's just actually crazy um you wouldn't expect gambit to be that good but hey he just does it right and this is mainly because and i'll be completely honest uh with this meta you get to use recoil masteries and i feel like gambit at this point just needs the recoil masteries unless he is rank three which is why i wanted to rank three him so badly from 8.4 but since that didn't happen i was like okay i can still use him for this meta at least and yeah he is crushing it right here's an onslaught fight you know onslaught a pretty meta defender let's just do it with gambit because why not and it's like okay taking maestro pretty sweet taking onslaught very sweet and that's already two very meta defenders and like it doesn't stop there Gambit is great for Korg, he's great for Atuma, for Killmonger, and also Bullseye. Um, I've seen some- oh, by the way, look at that crit. <laughs> but yeah, I've seen some gameplay of, like, Gambit at rank 2 or rank 3, taking down Bullseye bosses in Alliance War because he simply can just do it. He is very, very solid for those characters, uh, especially Bullseye because of, like, the bleed immunity, or, like, the bleed resistance. But yeah, um... I'm just, I don't, I don't know, I'm like a bit surprised that Gambit is doing this well against like these type of defenders. Of course the nodes are helping him big time because of fist cuffs and like the recoil masteries, but even outside of this, I want to see how good a Gambit performs in like a battleground scenario because now that he has a Gambit relic, he just feels really, really practical. So yeah, here I drop the SP1, or he drops it, sorry. Uh, it's a lot of block damage for sure, but uh, that doesn't matter when you do this instead. So we're gonna go in here, get the parry, get the heavy attack, and then a nice 200,000 plus crit yet again. And yeah, that was 40 seconds, 49,000 points by the way. And yeah, shout out to Pokey for helping me with like this video. Uh, just wanna test out like, you know, a few ideal matchups for Gambit. And I wouldn't even say that, like, you know, Bullseye is ideal for Gambit because of, like, the block damage, but he still takes it very well. And when I was, like, theory crafting a Gambit video, I was like, wait, will he do good in Battlegrounds because of, like, you know, the block damage and the crit through blocks? The answer is yes, because Gambit, um, at base has, like, a ton of armor up, and so that's good for, like, mitigating some block damage. So, uh, yeah. He's gonna drop the SP2, no big deal. We're gonna use this to build up our spades yet again. And then we're gonna go back in now, uh, drop the SP2 in a second here. Do I? Wait, no, I don't because I wanna build up to the uh, 
to almost three bars of power because when you do that it gives you up to two sp2s so yeah here i dropped the first one no crit that's perfectly fine i go back in again though and i'm gonna cash in on the sp1 here and i'm glad i did because check out this damage output 116,000 for a special attack one how wild is that man and that was like what 40 something seconds yeah pretty dang sweet but now we have gauntlet terax here and this one's a very fun fight because uh yeah at base it's like how does gambit take this fight but when you like when you see it happen it's just really goofy stuff so yeah um i feel like gambit's kit is honestly pretty solid because you know he has that no thorns thing where like if he does mediums heavy attacks or special attacks he takes zero thorns damage but also he has a concussion on the sp2 and first off massive crit right there but also now look at the rock field it's doing zero damage to us and that's because the concussion is preventing the rock field from ticking at all that is that's that's wild right and like once the concussion's gone it starts ticking again which is you know annoying obviously but yeah that's such a weird way of countering Terax, but if it works, it works, right? And Gambit, he's not a conventional character. He does things, you know, a bit differently from most champions. So, yeah, that's why he's so cool also, because he has, like, a very odd kit, but it just works, I feel like. But yeah, here's another SP2. Actually, wait, check this out. What is that? <laughs> Can someone explain to me what that is? But yeah, there's another 195,000 crit, but what was Terax doing there? And then a nice 87,000 crit or whatever that was. But yeah, um, just just an absolute beast. Here we have this Modoc fight. And this one is... This one's wild because this has Specialist 1. Which means our Special Attack 2 does less damage. But you can't even tell because the SP2 is still absolutely massive. So yeah, uh, just you'll see in a second what I'm talking about. Uh, but Modoc here, you know, not an ideal Gambit matchup. However, thanks to Gambit's uh, stun pause, he does bypass Modoc's auto block on special attacks at least. So, like, that's something. He's not, like, the best Modoc counter, obviously. Gambit's issue is that, like, he's not the best at anything necessarily. Uh, for a while, he was, like, called the budget Omega Red. But now that Omega Red has kind of fallen off, uh, just falling off a cliff I feel like Gambit can now shine yet again so that's honestly pretty sweet but um yeah Modoc here he's about to get destroyed check this out we're gonna go in for a hit go back in here get the intercept and now it's time for the sp2 but he just stands there again like this ai is crazy but there i missed like three parries in a row but here i dropped the sp2 and a nice 200,000 crit with specialist one reducing our attack rating but look at the sp1 <laughs> 100,000 plus right there and then 100,000 again just for good measure so absolute beast just an absolute monster right and here's this vision fight now this vision has surging vengeance so he's gonna drop the sp1 drop the sp2 and then drop the sp3 and one shot you right but gambit i didn't mention this yet but one of gambit's best traits is his stun lock yes he does you know he has the thorns mitigation he has the bleed immunity he has access to concussion but those three things aren't even his best feature. His best feature is just controlling the fight in an absolutely crazy way. So yeah, check this out. We're gonna go in, uh, drop our prowess, get an SP1 going, and you know, the damage output is pretty decent. We're gonna do it again right here, and hopefully we get a crit. No crit, it's fine, right? Because that's not the goal of this fight. But hey, one more time, maybe a crit. And yeah, 79,000 damage right there, pretty good, but like i was saying that's not the goal of this fight the goal of this fight is to show you how crazy his uh stun lock is so vision is at three bars of power right pretty scary stuff because if he drops it it's a guaranteed one shot however do we care not really because uh yeah he's not gonna throw a single special attack now because of the stun chain it is honestly broken stuff and this just counters so many different things in the game it's honestly insane he's good for like this fight for example he's good for anything in like incursions because the stunlock is just so hard to bypass so yeah um 
Look at this man. Just <laughs> he's still stun locking. It's just going to stay this way for the rest of the fight. It's very hard to mess up because once you have like the relic going as well, you are pretty much just chilling. So yeah, here I drop another SP1, go for the four combo into a combo again, drop another SP1 and yeah, this is going to just about do it wild right just completely wild completely controlled as well he is just one of the best control characters in the game because of that sp1 stun lock but wait there's more we have some uh more stun locking with this dormammu fight and this one's also just very goofy and like the thing with gambit stun lock is if there's like no stun immunity it just it's gonna work right it's just it's as simple as that the rotation is super safe it's very hard to mess up of course it requires some fast hands obviously but like if you have that then you're kind of just chilling for like the majority of the fights but yeah here i drop another sp1 a nice 83,000 crit and yeah already off to a great start here drop another one no crit but it's fine and now it's time for the proper stun locking so yeah the cool thing about the stun lock is you get like three sp1s with like 10 prowess that honestly do some pretty nutty damage so like you have that pretty good head start but then after that the fight is just completely locked down by gambit so yeah it's just such a it's such a crazy thing and i feel like it's you know the hulk lock is insane but the thing with like gambit stun lock is his is infinite right hulk has a like he has a ceiling right but gambit does not so it's like all right that's just kind of wild and there's a one minute fight by the way honestly pretty crazy stuff and here is this crossbones fight we have uh biohazard here force of will and that one node where like you have to give him buffs but since gambit's a hero it's a pretty easy note to work around but uh yeah this fight is a pretty interesting one i think back in the day people were using like omega red for this but i think gambit's like a perfectly good option as well uh crow lion obviously but you know you're kind of chilling and yeah, he drops the SP1 in a second, I believe. I hope anyway, he's being pretty stingy right now. Yeah, there he finally drops it, so we're good. Go back in here, slow my combo a bit. And I forgot how annoying Bane was. Oh my gosh, Bane is like one of the worst nodes ever, to be honest. And there I mess up. I can't hit his block. I just cannot do that <laughs> because if I do, I'll get poison. And the poison with like the Furies is insanely strong. But yeah, besides that, we're kind of chilling. Uh, here I drop my heavy attack into the SP2. A nice, what, 250,000 crit, I think. I don't know, that was still pretty nuts though. Um, Cause like the health bar just kind of, kind of just vanished to be honest. But uh, we go back in after this, try to get the Bane counter like perfectly timed. A nice 98,000 SP1 right there. And so far so good. But he's being a bit stingy now. No longer being stingy, which is good for me and yeah this fight is under control but yeah like i said it's bane so it can just go south very very fast uh because that's just the bane node for you right but he's thankfully playing like pretty well or like he's being pretty friendly to me at least and he's gonna go for the sp1 here which is perfect yet again and i'm gonna drop the relic into my sp2 and this damage y'all put is pretty sweet. Uh, no crit there, but it's fine. We go back in here and do a combo into the SP1, I believe. No, I don't. I just, I waited out because I want to get to the SP2 again. So yeah, we do that. And it does not crit, which, you know, sucks, right? But, you know, with Gambit, it it's something that you have to expect at times, which is perfectly okay. Like, I... When I took up Gambit, I was like, okay, I know that not every single SP2 is going to crit. That's fine. And it was still a pretty good time as well. Like two minutes for what? 800,000 plus health. Not bad in the slightest. But now we have some act content here. And you know, Gambit just steamrolls it. <laughs> He's just really, really good for this stuff, obviously, because it is a pretty ideal health pool for him. So yeah, it's got to build up charges yet again. And the block damage is pretty minimal. But you know, what's cool about Gambit is... If there is like block damage that will be taken, if like it's an ideal gambit fight, so like there's bleed or something, he'll just heal from that and like it'll pretty much, you know, just cancel out the block damage. So that's honestly pretty sweet. Uh, just honestly a very well done kit because, you know, with this playstyle being kind of 
odd with like the block damage and everything he still has ways to make sure that he is you know just staying healthy and topped up like for example with the uh, flag jacket right but yeah no crit there but it's okay i go back in here though drop the sp1 again and a nice 121,000 crits to end the fight uh pretty sweet stuff and that victory animation is just peak oh my gosh like that that baton spin it's so so cool uh, but yeah, now we have this Spider-Man 2099, and with Spider-Man here, he gets like a ton of, uh, physical resistance, so it'll be not ideal for Gambit, unless we crit. So, hey, if we crit, then we're kinda chillin', so let's see if we crit or not. We're about to find out. Hopefully we do, right, because that just saves a massive headache, but we're gonna go in here, uh, get my, uh, final hits needed for this i'm gonna let the bleeds like you know cool off because of the power gain node and here i drop it and what do you know a nice 213,000 crit right there and we're just chilling so yeah like 37 second fight pretty good stuff from gambit still got that epic victory animation you know victory animations i feel like the most recent ones have been pretty insane but gambit is a pretty old champion so having a good one and like being an old character honestly pretty good stuff and this node is pretty interesting because this is the gimme shelter node so the opponent has a 60 percent chance to auto block but it's decreased by 15 percent per buff on you so i'm gonna use a prowess for utility instead of damage output for this fight but you know it's it's still very useful to have like just uh, access to a ton of buffs which is what gambit has so we're kind of chilling and yeah now it's time for the damage output though and yeah by the way he has pretty good damage so you're about to see uh nice crit there on the first hit not on the second hit but that's okay drop the relic into the sp1 and we're good not too shabby in the slightest uh that was like what 40 something seconds with class disadvantage so yeah we're kind of just chilling um but now we have the cyclops fight battle of the x-men actually isn't this Cyclops like the bad one? I know one of them is evil and like when I learned about it I was like no way that's true but yeah one of them's actually a villain which is crazy because I thought Cyclops was like always a hero but I guess not. Uh, but yeah like I said prowess going to be used for utility here for like countering the node which it's doing very very well may I add. So yeah we're kind of just chilling here we're about to go for the sp2 and detonate our prowess and yeah do some pretty nutty damage as per usual so yeah we're gonna just play slow here get the prowess built up and it's time for the detonation and look at this damage output a nice 225,000 crit right there you love to see it and yeah we're kind of just chilling at this point because we're gonna go in here drop another sp1 and a nice 102,000 crit and yeah that's that's just a wrap at that point so that was not bad either that was like what under a minute pretty good stuff by gambit and now we have this mutant lane and this one is just so satisfying and this fight right here is a good example of like why you shouldn't give up if you don't get a crit on the sp2 because what people don't realize is with gambit's prowess duration you get two sp2s if needed right and you know if the first one doesn't crit that's fine because you still have that second sp2 and you're gonna see what i'm talking about here in a second but yeah we're gonna build up our spades as per usual get our fury buffs from the node as well and when it's time to detonate our prowess you're gonna see what's gonna happen so it's just a pretty entertaining fight here he drops the sp1 no big deal and now it's time to go in and cash out our prowess so we're gonna drop the sp2 right here zero crits right no crits whatsoever that's okay because we still have that second sp2 if we just rush a bit which we are gonna do and um check this one out we're gonna go we're gonna go in 140,327,000 to end the fight that is just insane like actually crazy now we have this kingpin fight uh you know same node and everything no big deal uh kingpin usual like mutant champion fodder so we're kind of just chilling and uh yeah gambit if he crits on the first sp2 it's just game over right that's just how it is with gambit but if we need the second sp2 we can get it pretty easily so yeah like people always think that hey if the sp2 doesn't crit it's just game over no because you have that extra sp2 in the bank that can you know be a double crit and just one shot anything so yeah like with gambit here 
there's always a second chance, right? And that's just how it is with this character. But we're gonna go in here, uh, the relic's almost ready to get activated. So we're gonna bail out the SP1, go back in, drop the relic into a heavy attack. And yeah, this damage output is just wild. So that was a pretty fun fight. That was like 40 something seconds. And yeah, Gambit is just an absolute blast to play, and I feel like he is still super underrated. Um, Rico Mastery is just a game changer for him, and he is just a very, very strong champion when it comes to damage output and utility as well. Like, his utility is very odd, but just also very useful as well. So, let me know your thoughts on Gambit, and yeah, that's about it for me.